Hi there, Lee Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just to go through the portal light mode in the quad light. So under the documentation, there's the portal option here. So basically, skydiving lights can use light portals to reduce noise for interior scenes where the light comes in through small windows. So instead of emitting light, they can be used to guide skydiving light sampling. So in this case, we've got an interior with a smallish window. The skydome light is very noisy. Then when we add the light portal, it cleans up a lot of the noise. Okay, and I'd just like to thank uh, the Cartoon Factory for the use of their cartoon bedroom scene. Okay, so we've got the scene here in 3ds Max. And if we pull out, we can see the scene has a very small window opening, which is an ideal situation for the light portal. Start off by creating an old light. and change that to skydown light and let's render the, the scene with the arnold render view so as you can see it's very noisy using the skydown light and even if we increase the number of samples for the light it still really won't help us because of the the window is so small okay so let's snapshot that and then we can create a, another arnold light and we'll change that to a quad light. And just make sure the portal option is enabled. And then we just need to position it and rotate it so it's uh, sitting in front of the window. Something like that. And if we select the sky dome light and just make sure the portal mode is on. So here it's off, we set it to interior only. So now we can see as the quality of the lighting's uh, markedly improved to how it was before. Still getting a bit of noise in the corners here. So let's have a look at the render setup. I'm gonna enable adaptive sampling. Might take a bit longer to render, but we'll get a lot nicer, cleaner image. Okay, so that's the introduction to the light portal in Max2A. Thanks for watching.